Yo, this music is getting me fired up for this boss fight. Um, but stay tuned. Um, man, we have some stomping because it is a giant after all. We have some legs breaking here, and then we have some uh, fireballs coming. So stay tuned, guys. Um, this is gonna be a bumpy boss fight. Um, but first, we need to basically start off this video by showing you how to get to the boss fight. Because what's the point? You're following my videos because you want to know what to do in Elden Ring. So yeah, welcome guys. Um, smash that like button if you like my content. Um, comment down below if you have anything you want me to like know. Um, yeah, just comment down below. And share my videos to people you may know that like gaming. So yeah, thanks guys for all the support. Um, I really really appreciate it and let's get into this video so um, as you can see in the background I skipped these guys because it took me a couple of tries just to get to this point safely um, because I was fighting them and they overwhelmed me because their, their level the skill level increases the further you basically progress in the game so yeah th that's why you find me from time to time just running or skipping past certain sections of the game because yeah and certain times I will just like stop to fight them so yeah so after you basically um, use the lift you will arrive in the capital outskirts as you will see in a minute yeah you want to be taking these guys out um, just like they can be a nuisance so just take them out um, yeah, they drop, drop some nice loot as well so yeah as you can see this is a capital outskirts run past that um, guy over there Phew. <laughs> he will definitely catch up to you if you don't have a lot of like stamina so over here I was literally confused by um, which um, path I needed to take but I think the lift was here and this, instead of going up it, it went down so I just obviously light as usual and we made it to the for forbidden lands now yeah it was a very interesting like area um, obviously you know that like the enemies are quite high level here so you don't want to be stopping when you get to this area maybe um my personal advice is just like just run past until you get to a uh, lost site of grace um yeah as, as you will see the enemies hit hard they hit hard so just be careful if you do want to fight um pick your battles simple as that golden seed nice to be honest i don't really wa know why i actually went for that Sometimes you just feel like, let me just take them um, and um, kill enemies. Yo, hectic. That caught me off guard, I must say. And they are really strong. They are really strong. So let me just reset this fight, I guess. Okay. So once we basically reach this point, you can talk to those nice ladies over there, which I'm not going to be showing because I just want to show you how to basically get to our new area. Spoiler alert, there's two sides, so this one is the red one, um, in more videos to come I'll show you how to basically get the other medallion which will take you to the other side um, of this um, area, particular area. The snowy mountain tops. All right, we have made it to our destination. So what we are going to do now, I'm going to show you um, how to get to at least the first um, um, site of grace. So I'll show you in a minute. You can you have a nice view of the earth tree over there. 
okay so that's where we need to head to basically get the map so we are at the mountain tops of the giants okay I'm gonna skip certain parts because you only need to add in one direction it's literally on the map it basically is obvious where you need to go fair warning here if you cross this bridge um, there's one of those giants who shoots arrows and it can instantly kill you as you will see in a minute so be patient don't rush so yeah I'm just showing you Obviously this was my second time, so I knew what to do at least, or knew that, okay, I just needed to reach this point, rest a bit, and then, as soon as you get close to them, they're not too difficult to handle, but they do hit hard, that arrows hit hard, so their weakness used as usual is just their ankles, they will fall to the ground, and then you can go in for the stabby stab, one of my favorite aspects of the game okay cool so here's what you where you actually need to be this is where you'll find the fire giant so this is basically gonna be the rest of the video we're gonna fight this fire giant so we have a lot of things to show gotta love this music this gets you like pumped up like ready for this fight and of course my mimic deer is here to support it just takes a while to get to um, the boss fight sure look at the damage all right let's see what this giant has And right from the get-go you will notice that the, the his weak spot is basically his left ankle and I died. So that's what we basically gonna try and aim for in each um, attempt. So yeah. You know, it, it is a bit of a, like, it's annoying to start all the way from the back, like, as you saw now, to come into this boss fight because, um, this boss can do a bit of damage as you can see, like, before you get to his, like, ankle. And he hits hard, I have to emphasize, emphasize that. Cool. He will also at some point guard his ankle, so just be aware of that. Watch out for those, but as you will notice, just stick close to his ankle. Just keep on going in. You need to be aggressive in this fight, really, really aggressive. And watch out for those fireballs. Yo! Okay. Yo! I was surprised by how hard the giant hit. And this game actually forces you to fight one specific way with this boss. So magic, as you may think, like all of you would probably think, but why don't you just use magic? You will see in a minute, like why I choose health um, over uh, health flasks over um, um, FB flasks. Okay. Oh, you know, my mummy is also going in. Slice that ankle, boys. Let's 
so he prevents you from like um, he wants you to basically um, fight him at a distance so you want to be behind him by his ankles so you don't get caught up by that fire over there as well caught up in that fire and watch out for the storm basically when you start to see him move just watch out you I don't know how that <laughs> only did that amount of damage I was lucky I guess okay nice we so be basically made it to the second phase but here's where it actually gets tricky as you will see you basically broke his leg he's in pain kind of feel bad for him but at the same time he hits hard so it evens out alright for, sec for the second phase you just continue with the strat you target one leg just watch out for the fire <laughs> yo <laughs> and it, it got me I couldn't get out of that fire fast enough alright so again we close to um, getting to the second phase and I just wanted to show you like how quickly this fire giant can kill you if you just make one wrong move but what was interesting is as you could see there I died and then it triggered the cutscene for the um, second phase of the boss fight so that was kind of weird so I included that oh yeah the fireballs you will see in a minute he, uh, like you know in the second phase um, you will obviously target his legs but he rolls around a lot which is annoying at times because you want to just be like sl like slicing the whole time and then it rolls and you can get caught up in those rolls and just instantly die so that is also annoying but these fireballs will literally follow you until eventually as you will see in a minute it tracked me and hit me and I died <laughs> yes so yeah so up to this point you have seen everything so as you will see you will try to track back like just move backwards so that he can kill you like that as if you're in front of him you're in danger so you must just um, maybe like let your mimic tier de-aggro him or aggro basically towards the mimic tier and then you sneak behind so as you will see um, I'm using magic and you will see in a minute how ineffective this magic is because first of all you're using FP and it doesn't really do the trick like it's you, your casting speed is too slow and once he rolls away you have to get close to him in order to basically land those like magic that you are using the spells that you are using Just, as you can see it goes hard but once like for instance you get caught, caught up in one of his moves it's over and this brings me to my final fight so yeah guys this is like after all the learning of like you know how to basically fight this particular boss ankles I upgrade my created mine sort of night and flame and it was the only weapon that I invested all that um, I invested in it so like it was the only weapon that actually did um, decent damage and as you know our intelligent or like when you play in an, um, uh, an intelligent boat like intelligence boat sorry um, you don't really invest in um, any other weapon except your staff once you actually found the staff that you are going to use from mid game to like basically end game so the sword and night and the sword of night and flame actually went in and i'm glad that i found the weapon early and it helped me for this fight
once those flames can just run away then you will roll then you just go in rinse and repeat you don't want to be in front of him just behind him otherwise those um, fireballs will just hit you this phase does do take a bit like longer for those fireballs <laughs> they do track you yo they was close but as long as you just stick um, to the side and behind them you should be fine and watch out for those rolls they are deadly this may look like yo this boss fight isn't tough but trust me <laughs> it took me a while to basically get it down to not like for instance when you get so close to the end to not mess up by either getting in front of him ending up in front of him or um, him rolling over you and one shotting you those fireballs hitting you so yeah Yo, my stamina. <laughs> I can't even get like a hit in. It's I'm just spamming. Yo, I was getting nervous by this point because if you die, you have to start all over this phase. The both phases, I mean. You just don't like start like pick up where you actually left off. So, yeah. You wanna go in, finish, and as you could see, I just wanted to finish. Then the spam, like I was spamming the um, the button, but um, my stamina was not recovering in time. But yeah, we got him. We got him. So. After we basically defeated the fire giant, there's only one thing left to do, and that is get to a, a lost site of grace, save our progress. So, yeah, and that lost site of grace is on top of over here. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, especially those who have watched the full video, it really helps out a lot, um, yeah, it just shows like obviously what I put out, you guys enjoy, so yeah, and I love actually these face cam videos, it shows my um, reaction um, to my gameplay, so yeah, just smash that like button, if you like these videos, um, share, comment down below, um, feel free, to let your thoughts your thoughts known. Oof, you. Yeah. So we basically made it to Forge, Forge of the Giants. Um, this was actually very, very <laughs> scary because like I was like, yo, imagine if you fall 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 over there. You have to basically start from the outside because that's where I last saved my game. Alright, we made it to uh, Lost Sight of Grace. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit? A cardinal sin. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment.
Hectic, so it's happening. So once he basically burns the earth tree, we can basically enter the impenetrable um, gate over there in the previous video. And then we can basically take on um, the, or like become Elden Lord. Oh, so we're waking up now. Looks like a new area. Sure, this looks scary. Looks like we're in that end game territory now. Things are about to basically get heat hey everyone i would like you guys to subscribe to the westiest bear channel and i also like to encourage you guys to like comment and also share my videos but again please subscribe because it's free man you know it's free anyway goodbye